Lords, uh, may I start uh, on behalf of the first and second respondents? You have also 15 minutes. Uh, thank you. Yes. May I start by paying compliments to the registrar of this honorable court, who at very short notice, severe time constraints, has been able, working with the IT experts appointed by this court, to produce two reports which should be read and seen by your lordships in the context of the limited time. Satisfactory reports. Reports that say the opposite of what the Honorable Orengo is suggesting they say. Although you also have limited time to go through these reports, but I urge you that you go through them and where it is necessary you compare the information here with the forms 34 A's which have been filed with the court including forms 34 B. But as you see from this first report, the blue one, that the registrar is complaining she convened a meeting of the parties at 4 p.m. on the very day that she was told to commence this work. The petitioners did not turn up until 6.30. It's all captured in her report. You will see at page 10 the registrar say, however, as the process went on, they introduced a new checklist, that's the petition number, which is a modus operandi. Lord, let me make a few points here with regard to this report. One, at the time that the returning officer for the presidential elections announced the results he had received all the scanned copies 34B. <coughs> Let me repeat here that form 34B for each constituency is the aggregate of form 34As, copies of which you have here. When you are being asked to hold that the elections were not conducted in accordance with the law, you can only do that by looking at what the law requires with regard to forms 34Bs and 34As. But when you look at the regulation 79 2 a with regard to forms 34A and regulation 83A with regard to form 34B, you will find that the requirement is for those forms to be signed. And actually the form, the format of the prescribed form, you will see it in the schedule to the regulations. So there is no requirement in the regulations about any security features. So you cannot be asked to disregard the forms because of security features. The regulations are clear as to what should be in the forms. And Lord, you, if, if you turn to page Scrutiny of Forms 34Bs. It's not paginated, but it's, it's, it's Schedule 7 in this blue form. <coughs> With regard to the constituencies in respect 
of which the forms are said not to have been signed by the returning officers. Five of them, one, two, three, four, five. Five of them. If you look at the column serial number, the form had a serial number. If you look at the next column, watermark, the forms had watermarks. Where it is, the next column is returning officer side, that is the ones that are not signed. But the next column, agent, you will find they were signed by the agents. Handing over, we've already gone through it because that was under the old regime. Those are the only five forms which were not signed by the returning officer. They had the security features, they had the serial numbers, and you'll be able to see the number of voters in those particular polling stations. In fact, when you compare, you will see that the, the, the majority of them actually voted for the petition. Excuse me, Mr. Muite. Yes. With regard to what you said about the regulations uh, uh, 79, 79 and 83. Yeah that there were no security features required on these forms? It is not a requirement of the law. It is not a requirement of the law? No. But did these forms have security features? Yes. So meaning, if they had, they all should have? Abundance of caution. Yeah. The commission, out of abundance of caution, yes are the ones who designed the security features. Okay. Yes. And the Lord, we, we have explanations, it's, it's just that uh, there wasn't any enough time. Because when you scan a copy, you can actually lose some of the security features. But what I'm saying Mr. Mitter, is that the forms Mr. Mitter, 34... Yes. Before you move. Yes, my Lord. Uh, how do you explain Nyali in that form? And the serial number, or lack of it. Yes, there is no serial number, but that's admitted. What does that mean? If I had time, I would take instructions. But if you go to the next column, my lord, yes. it says it is signed by two agents, ODM and Jubilee. So that the next question, my lord, why were the agents of ODM and Jubilee? signing the form for Nyali. So, they are signed. Is it reasonable to expect a party who has signed a form to come here and disown the form? Look, the simple point submission I'm making here is that the form 34B were in position of the national returning officer for the presidential vote and he was perfectly right in declaring the third respondent duly elected. Lord, with regard to the forms about access, again when you read this report on IT on access to the system. You will find that in terms of paragraph 72 of your ruling, we availed all the orders of this code, the items that we are asked to avail, you will see that we availed them. We even gave a soft copy of the logs which the petitioner did not want to take. And my Lord, we set up the link, passwords we are given. My Lord, you will see from this report that the company that we were relying on as a commission for this system is NTT in America. The servers were in Europe, but the company NTT is 
in America. And you know the time difference is eight hours. My <laughs> Lord, can I have some peaceful environment to make my submissions? <laughs> you said who, who are in you? NTT America. Yeah. They are the ones who we are contracted by uh sharp sharp. Welcome to the no. yep. Saffron. Saffron. And my Lord, the point is this. After giving the link, giving the access, because of the super security features in this system, it took time to access. In simple language, it's, it's, it's like... Uh, uh, in a, in a, in a, in a <laughs> city park as it used to be you know when you go to the door you can't get to the center until you go around <laughs> all the paths it takes time to get around the firewalls and access and that was a challenge and that was being set up by our service providers. So it took time, not us refusing. And the, Lord, the fact that it took such a long time is evidence of the security features in the system which then <laughs> demolishes the suggestion that anybody would have hacked. And you will have the opportunity to study this report as to whether indeed you are experts themselves so in the evidence of hacking. So you cannot be asked, my lords, to nullify a presidential election on the basis of allegations, on the basis of suspicions, my lord. No one is challenging the numbers the votes. Votes are not being challenged by Lord. What we are being told is this did not have a watermark, this did not but you have not been told even now that the figures in any of form thirty four B that any of the figures in forms thirty four A were wrong or cooked. You have them here and even with the constraints of time, look, you, your staff, your registrar can go through them, my lord. And once you are satisfied about the figures, the sovereign will of the people of Kenya was captured in Forms 34A, Forms 34B, and Form 34C, my lord was completed, that was the one that was completed most transparently because everybody was able to follow the chairman of the commission signing that form in the presence of all the media. There is absolutely nothing wrong, no evidence, and not the fact that this vote as the registrar to do that limited scrutiny in terms of time does not shift the burden of proof. When you retire to consider your judgment, you will ask yourself, I submit, whether, whether the petitioners have presented this court with any cogent evidence that these elections were rigged. By who, when, and how? Have you been presented with that evidence? All they've been talking about is this technicality and that technicality. But Lord, the results announced captured and represent the will of the Kenyan people. My Lord, it is a fact that the judgment of the Court of Appeal which was given on the eve 
of the elections presented certain challenges. For example, my Lord the Chief Justice kept asking those figures that we were seeing on the screen, what were they? My Lord, it's necessary to distinguish between the public portal and the screen. They are different, they are not the same. And therefore, the role information in terms of how the people have voted is what was being beamed on the screen. And the Lord, following your Lordship's judgment, given that this judgment of the Court of Appeal came on the eve of the election, the Commission will take steps to improve on how communication of the results should be, to harmonize the public photo and the screen, perhaps to wait for the form to be received instead of the results data being keyed in on these uh, kings and being transmitted and then being relayed immediately. Perhaps wait until form 34 is completed so that as you feed it into the public portal, which is not accessible by a majority of Kenyans, you also screen it so it can be picked up by the media so that the Kenyan people can be able to follow because they are entitled to follow. The Commission was trying to comply with the Court of Appeal order that removed the issue of probational reports and at the same time respect the constitutional right of the Kenyan people to have information as quickly as possible. This is a petition that stands for dismissal. And as I sit down, this is one of the petitions that we ask you to dismiss the costs. Thank you.